What is going on today guys? Chrome here. Today's video we're going to be playing some My Summer Car. So this game is basically <clears throat> a mechanic simulator slash survival. It's pretty hard. You gotta eat, you gotta drink, you gotta go to the shops, you know, stuff like that. And there's a lot of stuff that's made to kill you in this game, so it can get quite frustrating. In today's video we're just going to put all the uh, rolling gear on this car, so this will be ready to roll into the shop for paint. So let's open up this. So you just right, you just left click on stuff uh, with the mouse to open stuff. And here's all your parts that you've got to put on the car. And as, you, as you can see, you've got to build absolutely everything. So the goal of this game is to build the car, pass an inspection, and then win a rally. Um, Keep in mind that you'll hear mosquitoes and stuff. Because we haven't been to the shops yet, we haven't got any mosquito spray, so you're going to have to deal with that. Alright, so first, how we're we going to start this, we're going to grab the toolbox. This will be quite a long video too, guys, um, because this game takes a long time to do stuff on. So we're going to open the toolbox, and we're going to get 10 mil out for the first thing that we need. So... Press 2 to select tools, and then grab a 10mm. Okay. Now we're going to grab the subframe. We're going to do our best to adjust it. Uh, as you can see, it's got tick, so that can be put in. And then we're just going to do up the subframe. Uh, let me just quickly configure some buttons. Zoom needs to be Alt, and everything else should be fine. Let's see. Yep. Okay. So we're gonna. There's four bolts in this, and we are going to. Where are they? So it can be quite hard sometimes to remember where the bolts are. Um, it should be in there somewhere. This does take a bit of patience, guys. So, alright, so we're going to go into the engine bay, which is going to damage the car and whatnot, but whatever. There's one. And there's two. Anyway, guys, if remember, if you do like this sort of content, make sure to drop a like. And if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe, because, you know, I do daily videos. Well, I try and do daily videos. I won't make that promise, but I try. And I do a lot of things, mainly simulator racing games and stuff like that. So... We're going to go into that there, so we've got four in. Now we're going to move on to the wishbone, which is also a 10 mil, I believe. So we're going to go wishbone front right. We're going to drop that in. And we'll go the other one, and then we'll drop that one in. But yeah, as you can see, this game is pretty full on, and it is very hard, requires a lot of patience. Um, for example, just getting the car registered, like, could take ages, you could get killed in the way, you could crash, anything, you can die in this game, when you die in this game, you gotta sort of start, not again, but you gotta start quite, um, basically you'll be put back in your house, and your car will be left wherever you crashed, and you gotta get back to your car, and tow it back, or hitchhike, or whatever, because you can hitchhike and everything in this game, um, oop, Wrong one, we're gonna go down a bit. So you have to bear with me for a bit because this is pretty hard to remember all this. There's a lot that's gotta be done in this first video. So we're at that. Alright. Now we are going to go for the spindle, I reckon. Which is going to be a twelve mil. Okay. I've got the sizes written down just to make the video a little bit faster. I have built a car in this game before, if you're wondering. That was probably the wrong side. I wasn't really paying attention. Um, yep, there we go. So that's a 12 mil. So we'll go grab a 12 mil in a second. I just realized Sprint isn't working, which is gonna slow this video down a fair bit. So just give me a sec. Player controls. Sprint. Where is Sprint? Am I blind or what? Is it not there? Oh, run. Okay. Alright, there we go. So we've got that. So now we just need to grab a 12mm. 
So we press 2 to switch to tools, and then we just grab that, and then uh, we put that in like that. It's that side done. Whoa, this game's pretty glitchy as you can see. <laughs> it's uh, only early access, so I don't expect too much from it, but it is a pretty good game for what it is. Um, now we're going to go for the struts, which are a variety of different sizes. So we'll get to that in a minute. We'll just drop them in for now. Put it in upside down, see if it lets us do it. I know it won't, probably. No. Okay. There we go. You've got to get them somewhat in their position. Um, I probably should jack the car up. I should have jacked the car up a while back. It makes it a little bit easier and stuff. So we're going to drop this in, and then we are going to jack up the car. Otherwise it's going to glitch out and stuff like that. And that friggin' mosquito, god damn. Alright, so we're not going to be realistic, we're just going to jack it up here, because if we don't, it won't touch anything and it won't jack up. And that was pretty bad. That was very bad, in fact. There we go. It's not dead center, but it'll be enough for the video. So we keep jacking that up, jack right up to the top so it can't go no more. And it's probably gonna slip off while we're working, but you know, it's the beauty of this. Alright. So we're gonna need a 9mm, I believe. 9mm. And we are going to put one, two, See how much easier this is with the car jacked up? Three, four, when it decides it wants to light up. There we go. So you just do up bolts with the rolly wheel on the mouse. Like, um, the. I'm not sure what you call it, to be honest, but yeah. Uh, Alright, one. Gotta always do them right up, too. If you don't do them right up, you'll fail inspection. And, um, could also. You know, fail inspections only some of it, you could also fall apart and die while driving down the road because your brakes fell off or suspension fell out or something like that, and who knows. Alright, that should be all four. Let me just triple check them. Yep, they're good. Alright, now we've got a, I think a 10 mil on the top. Pretty sure it's 10, yep. So one. Two, three, there's three on both sides. And as I said, guys, this is going to be a lengthy video, so just be warned about that. And how's our thirst? And that's all good. It's all good now. Alright, so now we're going to go disc brakes. We're going to chuck them on. Um,. I'm just trying to find them. I'm just trying to figure out what size these are going to be. I think these are a 14. Um, come on. There we go. Yeah, see there are 14 and that bolt shared with another bolt. So you do not put that bolt on yet. Otherwise you'll have problems later on. Um, that bolt I believe is shared with the half shaft. Or half shafts. Because there's two of them. Alright, so they're in. Now we're going to do the steering rack, which is a 9mm. I hope that's a 9. Yeah, it's a 9. Alright. So we're going to grab the steering rack now, which is this boy right here. This is where it does suck, is because the car's jacked up, it's going to bounce and crap right now as I do this. And it's going to be pretty hard to do up the bolts. Uh, maybe not actually, might be able to just do them for here. Look at that. So this is four nine mils, I believe. One, two, three, and four. I believe that is it. And then we're going to go for the tie rods. 
which uh, for the Americans or I don't know, they're, steering, they're called steering rod apparently, but we call them tie rods here, but you know, that's whatever. Um, if I remember rightly, these are a bitch to place. Hey, there's that famous physics glitch from this game. You know, because I just headbutted the car and it moved. Um, Alright, so we're going to have to jump in there. And we've knocked it off the jack. See, this is what I mean. Like, that's why there's really no point putting it on the jack, but, you know, it makes it a little bit easier at some point. Come on. Bloody hell, let me place it. Yeah, this is an absolute bitch to place, this one. So you got to get it, like, right in there. This is the right side, is it not? I did check that. Yeah, front right. Here you go. So see that's that should be on right there. But it's not. There we go. Yeah, see what I mean? You gotta get it in a bit of a weird angle. And that is the that's a twelve mil there. We'll grab the other one first. And sorry that it took so long, but like I said, you need patience for this game. It's not something that can all be done really quickly. Um this one might be there because now I know roughly where it, how it goes on. Oh man, hey, there, there was the tick. Where is it? So sometimes you just got to put stuff in the most retarded areas for it to actually trigger. Okay. Like that there, like that's retarded, like that shouldn't have triggered there, but you know, right here, we'll let it, we'll let it go. Uh, we're going for a 12 mil, and we're going to do up that one bolt right there. Now, what you want to do is you're going to be careful when doing this up because your wheels will actually go in and out, and you'll end up with a really bad wheel alignment. I mean, you end up with a really bad wheel alignment anyway, but if you try and mess with them a little bit, then you may end up with. Um, Actually, I don't think that's the right bolt. I think I'm thinking of something else. Just ex exclude what I just said. Because I know that when I built my first car, I had a really bad wheel alignment. Alright, so because the tie rods are on now, we're going to move on to the half shafts, which are a... Holy crap, the heaps of different bolts. Alright. So let's just chuck them in. It's still on the jack, apparently. Somehow. They haven't got a side like I thought, so, alright. And you can lean with Q, by the way, which makes things a little bit easier. Alright, and grab the other one. And we chuck that in. Come on. Really? Alright. Tick, all right, and the half shaft is nine mil for most of it, and then we have a fourteen mil bolt, which is on the, which goes with the disc, and because the phone rings and always pisses me off, we're just gonna ring now. Haha. <laughs> all right, so now we're going to do up the half shafts now. I can't... You don't do them up in the middle there. Not yet. That's when the motor goes in. So maybe we don't have to do that up yet. Um, pretty sure we don't, actually. Pretty sure we're just going to put the one bolt on for now. So we're going to go for the 14. And this will put the discs... This will basically put everything into place. Like, you put that one big bolt down the middle, and miraculously it... Has it puts everything in its place. All right, so we've done that. Um, steering column can go in a minute. We're gonna go for the wheels, which are 13 mil, by the way. So we're gonna need to grab a wheel. We're going to need to plate, um, put them around a little bit. Like not put them around, but adjust them a little bit so we can uh, get access to the ones we want. There's one. Oh, wrong button. 
And here's the other. Now these are just a 13 mil. So they will go on pretty simply. And we got a problem. It's gonna come off that jack. And those mosquitoes are getting annoying. Alright, there we are. So that's the 13, so we'll grab the 13 out of here. And we will do these up. One, two, three, and four. And same for the other side. One, two, three. A lot of this game is trying to figure out your bolt sizes too, so that's why I've actually written it's the ones I can't remember down. Um, I think now we'll go for the steering column, which is going to be an eight. But you, you can just watch this video and then obviously see what I'm doing and I'll tell you the sizes and stuff as well if you want to do this yourself. Um, steering column, where? There it is. Grab that. And this can be a bit of a bitch to place too, but, you know, we'll try. So we're going to go from a little bit different approach. We're going to go from the inside. Okay. So that doesn't want to work. Things like this can be difficult to place. Um, I believe it's eight on the pedals, or is it on the back? It's on the back, I think. Just let me figure this out. Down here somewhere, I'm pretty sure. There we are. Alright, one. There's probably another one underneath that. Let's zoom in a bit so we can make sure we're definitely getting that bolt. Alright, so there's both bolts to that end. And now we're onto the rear. So this is going to be the trailing arm, and that's going to be a 12mm. Or trail arm. Um, 12. And we're going to grab the rear lift. And that's going to go in like this. So you you got to crouch and zoom and everything in this game to position stuff properly. But it's not too bad when you get it. Sometimes, like I said, you got to put stuff in the most retarded places for it to actually trigger. So like that should have triggered by now. There we are. And what we're going to do actually, before we get too far, we're going to lift, let the car down, and we're going to go jack up the back. Those mosquitoes are getting annoying, but next video we will go on a shopping trip and we will grab some mosquito spray. Alright, again this is going to be a half ass jack up, but it's enough. Alrighty then. And there's all sorts of physics glitches, so you're always going to hear banging and clanging and stuff's going to be breaking and stuff, that's just the way it is. And if we had that jacked up, that would have been a lot easier when we put the trailing arm on. So, or trail arm. So make sure that, um, that's a good hint, make sure you do that. Jack it up, makes stuff a lot easier. So look at that, bam, straight in. Alright, so there's should be two 12 mils in this, so there's one. Might have to get a little bit close, so that's actually the nuts, there's a bolt on the other side. We've got the bolt there. And then we got this one over here. Remember guys, always make sure you do up your stuff 
do up your bolts properly, otherwise you're going to end up in trouble. I almost left that one undone just then, see that? Alright, that's that done. Now we're just going to chuck the springs in because they just sit in their seat. There's nothing special about them. Da da da, go down to the back again. It's getting dark. Really? Oh, yep. Alright. And then the other one can go in. See if we can get it in on this. Yep, there we go. In. And now we're going to do the shock absorbers. We're almost done, actually. This car's almost ready to roll. Um, shock absorbers don't have a side, so they just go in whichever way. So they go in this way, obviously, because that bolts to the back of, in the boot. Or trunk, or whatever you just want to call it. Alright, so we've got a bit of a retarded angle, so that isn't going to work. Let's correct that, and let's try that again. There's that one in. And then there's this one in. So there should be... Uh, um, how many bolts are in this? And that's freaking out. See that? Alright, grab that. And put that in. And that glitched out. Holy crap. That's in. And let me think. I need 12, 6... Alright, so, what do we got in our hand? We got a 12 right now, so we may as well just do this first. So as you can see, you've got, um, are you serious right now? We'll just lean over for that one. So we've got that one, and we've got that one. And now we're going to need six mils. Did up both of them now, so now we're on to the bottom bolts, which are a six, and there should be two of them just putting it into here. Yep, see, one there. And if you can hear my computer, sorry, it's really hot in this room, so it's getting a bit loud because it's trying to cool down, but shouldn't be able to hear it. Alright, now what I can't remember about this, was there one next to each other, or... Where were they? Ah, there we are. So they're on the opposite sides of each other. Alright, so we've got that one. And then we've got... This one. Alright, so that should be that bolted in. Um, now we're going to put the brakes on. Brakes are just a one, just a 14 mil. They're easy done. So these are drum brakes, not discs like the front. Alright, put that on. Put that on. And grab a 14 mil. And then a 13, and then we'll put the wheels on, and this should be done. So we'll grab that, and we will grab that. And... I'm a bit slow with the keyboard, sorry guys, I'm sitting on the floor in my gaming room on my massive TV, so... Alright, probably should check which one that was first. Yep, I knew that was it. Alright. And... nope. Come on. Fuck it, we'll just try it this way. So if you get it angled, it works a little bit better. And then we just go grab this piece, or this wheel, I should say. As you can see, the car's on an angle because that's just the way it is. This game does not like physics. Joking, by the way, this game's really good with physics, but it has a few glitches here and there. 
As you can see, look how much the car's moved since we've had it. So, we want 13. I hope I didn't grab a 12. I just did, didn't I? I grabbed a 12. We want a 13. And we want to put these on. And after we've done the other side, we will have a roll of this car. will be completely rolling. And all um, that should be done. So we should be ready to roll it into the shop. Or shop, shed, and paint it. So in a minute, I'm going to show you the selection of colors. And I want you guys to choose a color because the next episode, we will be painting it. So here's your selection of colors. What would you like to paint it? There's all sorts of colors there. I'm not even going to read them out, but yeah. And uh, that's it for this episode, guys. So I hope you guys did enjoy this. And if you did, make sure to hit a like, hit that like button, and subscribe if you're new and you don't want to keep up on this sort of content. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'm out. Peace.